Man tits. You don't have man tits. Sit up like You don't straight. have boobs. Boobs are when you actually have like boobs. I actually have boobs. Although I have lines now. Penis pointers? Yeah. <laughs> I have penis pointers. I have penis pointers. I have penis pointers. I have penis pointers. <laughs> Damn period. Welcome to season two of My Weekly Bitch. We promise a whole lot of nothing, but please keep watching. Uh, <laughs> since we've been gone, Anderson Cooper is gay. The Republicans would like to go back to the Middle Ages. We all watch the people of London relive their very, very boring heritage. Chick-fil-A has had some social issues. Alex's hair is no longer red, and I have lost three pounds. And I lost ten! But <laughs> I thought you said you lost twelve. Whatever. I may have added to it. Um, uh, but where to begin? Where to begin? All right. This summer, the head honcho of Chick fil A, isn't it Chick fil A? Chick fil A. Whatever. Expressed a strong disliking for the gay people. <laughs> for the gay people. <laughs> for the gays. For the gay people. <laughs> Which caused quite a backlash. Who knew chicken could cause so much controversy? My opinion is that everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Regardless, as someone who, I mean, I like Chick fil A, I won't stop eating at Chick fil A. I mean, we it creates like jobs. Or so. fat and yeah, fine. I like food. So if he's gay fat. I'm regular people fat. I am. Somebody called me gay fat once. I was bitching about an how actual fat. person. Yes, I was. No, invisible Alex told me <laughs> I was gay. Fat. No, you just didn't make this up by yourself. No, like I someone... didn't. Oh no, somebody came up to me the other day. I was talking about how I needed to lose weight, and he goes, "Ross, by normal people's standards, you're not fat, but by gay standards, you're gay fat." Okay. And I was. Offended, but complimented at the same time. I would never date a gay person, so I guess that works out well for me. <laughs> so if you're straight and skinny, Ross loves you. You all know that already. Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively got married this weekend in a secret wedding. Really interesting. Yes. They, <laughs> this is you weren't Ryan, invited? This is Ryan's second marriage. Shut up. I was start, there. It was I'm in South start, Dakota, Carolina. I'm Domesticatingly abusing you. She hit me in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is. She hit me in the elevator because I was standing too close to her and she was worried about the camera with me. <laughs> hey, so you don't know people may watch us again here. He always tries to make it look sexual, so <laughs> excuse me. Anyway. Not at all. You're what? a girl. So what? <laughs> <laughs> Dance around in the elevator when no so one's you're in there. I stand there anyway. So whatever. So he's been married twice already, and he's he was, was engaged to Alanis Morissette. Yeah. And married to Scarlett Johansson, who he broke up with with Blake Lively. And my thing to that is why I, ScarJo is so. No, I disagree. Blake. I think Blake Lively is like a Greek goddess. Like to me, I like, think she's so if I pretty, had to pick but someone, I think Scar I like ScarJo more than Blake. No, ScarJo's a little more like voluptuous and short and frumpy, and Blake Lively's got like that. Short, frumpy. I know, and I boobs. so fine. Short, you can be ScarJo. Frumpy, I'll be Blake. Boobs. Long blonde hair. I don't know, like Blake Lively is just very stoic in my mind, so I, I think that's a good pair. My friend is actually getting I also don't think Brian Reynolds is that trend. Oh god, they're like it's oh my god, they're like Greek gods. Have you seen Ryan Reynolds shirtless? Holy fuck! Yeah, but that doesn't mean his face is. He attractive. is not gay fat. Oh what? I did not know he wasn't gay fat. I didn't know having a six pack entitled you to be potentially gay fat. <laughs> you could have a six pack and still be gay fat. I think I have to Google the rules of gay fat. I'm anyway, Brian Lock is obsessed, upset about it because his dream girl is Blake Lively. Um. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, you could read that part. No, I'm just a. I'm upset because well, a. Ryan Lochte's full of shit because he's gay. I don't care what anyone says. I think that Ryan Lochte is likes men because when he was being interviewed over for the Olympics over the summer, uh -huh. they were like he was on. I think it was the the Today Show, and he was like talking about what his favorite thing to do is, and he really likes fashion and clothing and designing clothes, which is fine. You can be straight into clothes. Most people in Los Angeles are. But he's like, oh, they're giving a tour of his house, and he's like, the favorite part of my house is my closet. And he opens up, 
And this closet is like a fucking townhome, and he's just got every pair of shirts and shoes and blah, blah, blah. It might just be because he's dumb, and all he knows how to do is go shopping. No, I don't. I think he is. And, like, his mom is like, oh, he's never had a relationship because, like, he just doesn't have time. And, like, I love he's just sister. into one-night stands and all this shit. You know what that means? He's gay. And his favorite speedo is this pink one. I Again, though, I'm not stereotyping. I'm not saying because you are you like the color pink and you like to shop and dress that you're gay, but Ryan Lochte is gay. The thing with Ryan Lochte is he was in Vegas with... Uh, Prince Harry. Prince Harry, who had his naked photo, which wasn't really naked. His balls were covered. I, again, I think... With what? A ball his, sock? His hands. He had his hands in front of him. Uh, Prince Harry's hot. Another person that I would like to be gay. Actually, you know what's probably happening? Prince Harry was probably banging Ryan Lochte, and they just released that picture so that no one knew anything different. Right. Or so that they thought that they, you know, neither of them were. Well, True. Yeah, that's my new theory. Um, Kris Jenner, a.k.a. Mama Kardashian, thinks Honey Boo Boo Child is being exploited by her mom, and it's just, and I quote, wrong. Hmm. I don't even know where to begin on that one. <laughs> There's so much wrong with that statement, it's insane. I don't think Kris Jenner realizes why she's famous. I, I don't she's think that so. disillusioned. Either. She's like a deranged homeless woman. They're, they're famous because Chris had... Because Chris. <laughs> <laughs> they're famous because Kim, Kim had sex with Ray J. Yeah, and because she was a huge Hollywood socialite party girl back when her dad was... Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm a huge Hollywood party socialite girl, yet I'm not famous. So does that mean I have to make a sex tape? No, your father wasn't one of the attorneys on the O.J. Simpson trial. You don't know that I was adopted. I I could be related to her. I could be Kardashian. I'm certainly hairy enough. <laughs> it's true. No. You're, you don't she have can't a, dispute it. No, he, he is hairy enough. But you don't. I, have I'm not that hairy. <laughs> Are you trying? Well, first you say you do look like a gorilla, and now you're I saying don't. that you don't look like a gorilla, so I don't really know. You I also don't. don't have the Kim butt. Um, a teenager in Oklahoma City accidentally shot himself in the penis while cleaning his new gun. The bullet went straight through the penis and through his left te left a testicle, stopping in his Oh eye. my god, you're- I just don't understand why you <laughs> give up him. If I was, A, it's the 17-year-old teenager who bought a gun, and Apparently he's cleaning it up. loaded, and he shoots himself, like, A, I, I've never had a gun, but I've had an airsoft gun, so I assume it's kind of the same thing. Is there not a safety and a, like, I would never be like, oh, cleaning, 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 oh, I'm going to pull the trigger. Boom. Also, why is he cleaning a loaded gun? When you clean the gun, you're supposed to take it all apart. This may seem like a really, this is going to be so inappropriate, but if... White people are stupid, that's basically the moral of the story. <laughs> if your penises fluctuate in size depending on whether they are happy or sad, right? So I mean like, when it goes through your penis, <laughs> like... We've, we're it, talking about dicks, you don't have to be so... Like, I know, but I'm just saying... Politically I, correct I'm just about saying, it. Though, if it's... If it's erect and you shoot through it as opposed to when it's flaccid and you shoot through it would the damage be like it would, I think the damage would be worse if it was erect right I don't know because it's already so bigger so I mean like I don't know <laughs> <laughs> so we like to end our show with bitch of the week <laughs> this week our bitch of the week is Chris Jenner. Jenner she is the biggest Hypocrite on the face of the earth. And she's just a huge bitch. I don't really like her as long. And like she's posing on the cover of Us Weekly in like a bikini that's oh. made for a 20 year old. I thought you said she was naked. She is. She's got like some like little red bikini on. It's like, look at my sexy body and how I look just like my daughter's. Does she have fake titties? I don't know. The sad thing is though, I think she's probably more attractive on that cover than like Chloe. I mean, like, Chloe would never go on a bikini on the cover of Us Weekly, is all I'm saying. Um, Chloe's my favorite. Chloe reminds me of Chewbacca. 